Let's write a C program to check for repetition of digits in a user entered positive number. We already know that any positive number can be formed using digits 0 to 9. So if user enters a number 1 to 3, there are no repeated digits in this number. But what if the number is 1, 2, 3, 2? In that case, 2 has been repeated, the digit 2 has been repeated in this number 1, 2, 3, 2. So we will output that message onto the console window. To accomplish this, I will take an array variable a of 10 and assign all zeros to its elements. So a of 10 because we need to accommodate 10 digits that is 0 to 9. Okay. If user enters a number 1, 2, 3, we will fetch individual digits of this number one by one and consider it as array's index which is a of 1, a of 2 and a of 3 in this case and overwrite the value, initial value of 0 to 1 indicating the presence or registering the presence of these individual digits in the number. So what if there is one more digit at the end which is 2? What if the number is 1, 2, 3, 2? In that case, I will change a of 1 to 1, a of 2 to 1, a of 3 to 1 indicating the presence of these numbers, these digits. So now I will access a of 2, the last digit in this number. So a of 2 is already 1, right? So in that case, it indicates the presence of 2 already in this number 1, 2, 3, 2. So now I will just output a message onto the console window that is digits in this number are repeated. That's it. That's what this program has to accomplish. Simple task, right? So I'll be using the same logic in our C program. So let's get started by writing our C program. Let me declare an array variable a of 10. As I had explained you earlier, a of 10 because we need to accommodate all the digits from 0 to 9. So now let me ask the user to enter a positive number and store it inside the address of integer variable num. From our previous video tutorials, we already know uninitialized array variable will have garbage values as its array's array elements value. But we need all zeros as initial value. To accomplish this, we could simply have an equals to sign and an opening and closing curly braces. That would do the job. Or else, we could assign one element in this array and rest of all the elements will be assigned to zero. I'll assign a of zero to zero. In that case, compiler will assign zeros to all the other remaining elements of this array. Now let us let us write a while loop while num is greater than 0. So iterate this while loop until num is greater than 0 or else you could simply write while num. That also means iterate through this while loop until num is anything but 0. Okay. So now assume that user has entered a, a number 1, 2, 3, 4. We need to fetch the last digit 4. To do that I'll simply do modulo division 10 and store the returned value digit inside the variable rem rem which means reminder so this would fetch the last digit of that number so let me explain another line of code which is num is equal to num division 10 this code will remove the last digit from the number so let me explain that to you with an example assume that user has entered a number 1 2 3 4 so num is 1, 2, 3, 4. So for first execution of this, for first iteration of this while loop, 4 will be fetched as a reminder. And 1, 2, 3, 4 division 10 would remove 4 from this number. So num will be 1, 2, 3. For next iteration, so for, for next iteration, 3 will be reminder. 1, 2, 3 modulo division 10 would fetch 3. And 1, 2, 3 division 10 would fetch 12. And this goes on until num is 0. Once num is 0, the control exits this while loop. Okay, So that's how it, it works. Now let us check the presence of this digit in the number. So if, look at this condition, it's very important. So if a of this reminder, that is the individual digit fetched from the number, user entered number, if it already has one, that means that digit is already present in the number. So break out of this loop, while loop, or else override the value, initial value of zero by one. 
so for example if user enters a number 156 so index of a of 1 a of 5 and a of 6 should be overwritten by 1 okay now let's output the message onto the console window if the control exit this while loop unnaturally that means because of encountering this break statement then num would be positive right it's it will not be zero in that case there are repetition of digits in the number i'll explain this logic once again or else if num is zero in that case the control exit this while loop naturally okay without encountering this break statement in that case there are no repetition of digits in this number i'll explain this entire while loop logic once again so so follow this so if user enters one two three there are no repeated digits in this code whereas for number one two three two the digits are repeated here so there are repetition of digits in this number so so the logic is working correctly so let me explain this entire while loop once again so let me copy this snippet of code okay so if user enters number as one two three so in that case so since one two three is not zero the control enters this while loop so one two three modulo division three it returns a reminder of three the last digit in that number okay so initially a of three will be zero so it's not equal to a of three is not equal to one because initial value for all the elements is zero right so in that case else block code gets executed so a of 3 will be assigned 1 now the last line of code num is equal to num division 10 that is 1 2 3 divided by 10 gives 12 well let me bring this line of code to the next line so now num is 12 which is not 0 again so 12 modulo division 10 gives 2 the last digit in this number 12 so it gives 2 so a of 2 initially all the values are assigned to 0 right so else block code gets executed once again so a of 2 will be assigned 1 so 12 division 10 would give 1 so num is 1 now which is again not equal to 0 so the control again enters this while loop so 1 modulo division 10 gives 1 so if num is smaller than 10 the num value itself will be returned as reminder so reminder will be 1 so again a of 1 is not equal to is not equal to 1 so now a of 1 will be assigned a value of 1 now the last line of code 1 division 10 returns 0 so in that case num will be 0 so now since num is 0 the control exits this while loop okay num is 0 let us check the code now so now if num is 0 else block code gets executed that is there are no repetition of digits in this number so what's the digit what's the number entered by the user by the way so the number is 1 2 3 so there are no repetition of digits here what if user enters number 1 2 3 2 so let's check that for 1 1 2 3 2 so first line of code 1 2 3 2 modular division 10 would return 2 as a reminder so a of 2 so all the initial values will be 0 it's not equal to 1 so else block code gets executed so a of 2 will be assigned a value of 1 now the last line of code 1 2 3 2 division 10 would return 1 2 3 so the num now is 1 2 and 3 so 1 2 3 is not equal to 0 so control enters while loop once again so 1 2 3 modulo division 10 is 3 the reminder will be 3 the last digit in this number 1 2 3 so reminder is 3 so a of 3 initially it will be 0 so a of 3 is not equal to 1 so else block gets executed so let's assign a of 3 to 1 so again last line of code 
1 to 3 division 10 would remove last digit from the number so it would return 12 12 is not equal to 0 so control enters while loop once again so 12 modulo division 10 would fetch the last digit in the number which is 2 so now a of 2 the if condition a of 2 is 1 right so a of 2 is 1 so it encounters the break statement and the control exits this while loop so now once the control exits this while loop what's the value of num num is still 12 right so num is positive and not 0 and the control exits this while loop so let's look at the code here so control exits this while loop now if 12 that means if block code gets executed there are repetition of digits in the number what's the number 1 2 3 2 so there are repetition in this number where that is 2 is repeated so it's working correctly so that's the logic of this program so please visit the link present in the description section of this youtube video for source code notes and discussion about this topic stay subscribed to our youtube channel and blog please share this video with your friends on whatsapp telegram linkedin twitter facebook etc and please do not forget to like this video on youtube thank you